If you've ever downloaded a scanning app on your phone only to be confronted by having to enter your card details, give a blood sample or the worst, export with a watermark, then I hear you. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be sharing the Office app with you, which is totally free, works on iPhone and Android and makes high quality scans a breeze. It even allows you to add filters on the image to crisp them up. With so many of us working from home, it's more important than ever before to have the toolkit that we need to get stuff done. And let me tell you, this app does not disappoint. Let's get into it. First off, you're gonna head on over to the App Store or Play Store and search for Office. Once you have downloaded the app, you can create a Microsoft account or of course just log into your existing one. The app's interface is super straightforward with three buttons at the bottom. The center one is what we are going to be using today. This is a product of an integration with Microsoft Lens, so all that goodness is now integrated into the Office app. You can experience it all for yourself simply by hitting plus and then scan. You'll be asked for two permissions, firstly to grant access to the camera and then secondly to grant access to your gallery. Take a photo of your document and you'll notice how orange lines actually appear around the piece of paper. You can adjust these manually, but typically I find that it does a great job on its own. You'll also see that you're able to toggle between document, photo, whiteboard or actions at the bottom. We of course are going to be selecting document, but did you know that by using actions, you can actually extract printed text from 30 different languages. Once you're happy, hit the center button in the shape of a circle. Now you get some fantastic editing options like filters, crop, rotate, ink or text. Ink allows you to draw or sign on the document and text allows you to annotate. You can also add additional documents to your scan by clicking the scan button. The best filter is really going to depend on your specific document, but I find black and white is typically the most crisp. Once you're happy, you can hit done. You can create a PDF, Word doc, or even a PowerPoint of your document, rename it and send it anywhere you like or simply let it upload to your OneDrive. My insider tips for getting the most out of the app are to firstly consider using it after a conference or maybe a brainstorm session to keep record of the conversations. The second tip is to use it to scan a PDF file and then convert it into Word. That's super handy and you can do it vice versa as well. All of this happening simultaneously. Don't forget that you can also now access and sign PDFs on the go. And finally, you can use it to take photos of receipts and claim back from your business or even better from the tax man. And there you have it, the best free scanning app on the market. Please hit the thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you're not yet already and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!